everyone, it's Miss Gina from the Community Library Network at Pinehurst, and welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you could join us. Today's story, as you can see, probably is all about apples. There are all kinds of apples out there. Red ones, green ones, yellow ones. Have you ever went and picked apples at an apple farm before? That's pretty fun to do. So today, our story time is going to be all about apples. Fun, right? All right. Well, I'm so glad you could join us and we really miss you here at the library. So before we get started with our stories, let's sing a welcome song. Okay, are you ready? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, say I am, I am. If you're ready for a story, let's begin. If you're ready for a story, let's begin. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, let's begin. All right, our first book is called Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship. Hmm, why do you think it's a bad apple? He's got a friend there, a little worm. The author of this book and the illustrator is Edward Hemingway. And we'd also like to thank the publisher, Penguin Random House. So let's read our story. Bad Apple. Oh, they're giving each other a hug. Mac was a good apple. Hmm, Mac starts with an M. He shared his toys with other apples, helped Granny Smith pick up after art class. He's a good helper. And loved to dive fearlessly into the watering hole. On a sunny day, Mac could bob for hours. Do you like to go swimming too? On cloudy days, Mac would search for the perfect pillow of green grass and take a long nap. In his dreams, it was always sunny, but one day as Mac lay sleeping, it began to rain. Soon, all the little creatures in the earth around him poked their heads out to look for higher ground. Some of them found safety under the large toadstools. Others crawled onto stones and pebbles, but one small worm had another idea. When Mac woke up, he was covered in raindrops and he wasn't alone. You won't believe the dream I just had. A funny little worm was tickling right here. <clears throat> And now I can't seem to get him out of your head. It was you. And that's how Mac met Will. Will the worm. Those both start with a W. Will showed Mac how to fly a kite, fly himself, and play in the dirt. He loved making a mess. Mac took his new friend to the watering hole to clean off. He couldn't remember a better day. Until he took Will to the orchard. Look at Mac, he's got worms. Oh no, Mac's a rotten apple. I'm not rotten, I'm quite sweet actually. So they left. Hmm. They don't like him now because they think he's a bad apple. Will cheered Mac up by reading aloud from some of his favorite novels. He was a bit of a bookworm. 
Mac liked the adventure stories best. He also liked it when Will finished his sentences for him. The most exciting part is when the pirates find treasures in the dirt. But the next day it happened again. <gasps> ha ha, it's the bad apple. Ew, worms. And no one in the orchard would play with them. Not even the crab apples. Crab apples can be so mean. Bad apple. They're not being very nice to him, are they? That night, the two friends sat alone on the grass without saying a word. In the morning, Will was nowhere to be found. You are a good apple, Will. Mac went back to playing with his orchard friends, diving fearlessly into the watering hole and painting in Granny Smith's class. But nothing was the same. He missed his friend. There was a hole in Mac that he couldn't fill. There's the hole. Not a big hole, just a teeny tiny little, you know, a small hole, just big enough to fit. And nobody finished his sentences. Mac had to find Will. He searched low. He searched high and in between, in the dirt, around the watering hole. And just when he had given up all hope, he looked up in the sky. Oh, what's in the sky? Do you see? Oh, he found his friend. Mac knew he'd rather be a bad apple with Will than a sad apple without him. I was hoping I could. Help me turn the pages. How did you know? Because you will always be a good apple in my book. Good and happy. And there's nothing bad about that. Oh, that was a great book, wasn't it? All right, so we read our book. Now let's count our apples. How many apples do we have? Let's see. One, two, three, four. How many is this? That's right. Five, six, seven, eight. We have eight apples. Should we see what color they are now? What's this one? Red, green, yellow, another red, green, red, yellow, and one last one, red. So we have eight apples in all. Yummy. I love apples. Maybe you can have an apple today for a snack. Hmm, do you like apples in pie? That's pretty yummy. All right, so there are our apples. Should we read another story? This one is one of my favorites. This book is called Tap the Magic Tree and it is by Christy Matheson and illustrated by her also. And we also want to thank the Harper Collins publisher for letting us read this story today. All right, let's see what this story is about. Tap the Magic Tree. There's magic in this bare brown tree. Tap it once, turn the page to see. Should we tap it? Okay, tap. Let's see what happens. Look what happened, can you see? There's a leaf on there. Tap again, it says. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. 
How many leaves do we have on there now? One, two, three, four, five. Five leaves. Now tap again, even more. Okay, ready? <gasps> tap, 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 tap. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at all of our leaves. Now rub the tree to make it warm. Let's see. <gasps> warm up the tree. <gasps> oh, what happened now? Do you see? There's these little pink things. Touch each bud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and see what forms. What are they gonna make? Flowers, do you see the flowers? Now give the tree a little jiggle. Can you help me? Ready? <gasps> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That's it. Now make your fingers wiggle. Can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Brush away the petals. Swish, swish. And blow the tree a tiny kiss. Can you blow it a kiss? All right. Now what do you see? What's starting to form in the tree? Those might be apples. Now shake the tree, ready? Shake, shake, shake. Plop, 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 curve, plop. Knock, knock on the trunk. Knock, knock, knock. Then stop. Pat believes now. Pat, pat, be gentle. Oh, and what's this down here? It's a little friend. He's eating an apple. Ah, now blow a whooshing breeze. <gasps> Ready? <gasps> clap your hands to bring. Can you clap for me? The snow. Okay, be patient. Wait, don't go. Close your eyes and count to 10. Can you do it with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Magic! And it begins again. The end. Oh, that was a great book, wasn't it? That's a fun one to read together. All right. Should we do a little song? I miss doing songs with all my friends here at Storytime. And of course, this one's going to be about apples. 10. Remember how we counted to 10? That's two hands of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten apples. Ready? One little, two little, three little apples, four little, five little, six little apples, seven little, eight little, nine little apples, ten little apples in my pie. Yum. Should we do it again? Okay, are you ready? One little, two little, three little apples, four little, five little, six little apples, seven little, eight little, nine little apples, ten little apples in my pie. Yum, yum. Oh, I might have to make an apple pie. Maybe you can make an apple pie with your family. Well, I'm so glad that you could join me for story time today. And I'm really miss seeing you here at the library. And I hope you get to enjoy some apples too. I can't wait to hear all about it. All right, now it's time for our goodbye song. Join me if you know it, okay? It goes like this. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. 
Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for joining me for story time. I hope to see you in the library soon. Bye friends.